So uh, obviously I just woke up and was making some breakfast and today we are going to try to see some manatees. I had two dreams for this trip other that weren't music related. I wanted to go snorkeling and I wanted to see some manatees. I think it's a little too cold to go snorkeling, but I'm not letting this manatee dream pass me by. So we have a little boat tour I booked yesterday, had a spot open for us, perfect. And um, we're gonna go this morning. We should be able to get down and explore the waters a little bit before the show this afternoon. So it's gonna be another day of adventure and music. Pulling out of that KOA on the road in our Chevrolet. Turn right at the Texaco, then anywhere we wanna go. I know I'm gonna get there next to you. I had a dream last night that I went fishing and I caught a zebrafish. I don't really know what a zebrafish looks like in real life, but in my dream, is that even oh a thing? Oh my gosh, it looked like a zebra. <laughs> it had a mane and one eye. Yeah, I'm pretty it was sure that's how it was. And it's mane, like, like, with, like, ripply in the water. And I really wanted Did you them. eat it? No, I just really wanted someone to take a picture of my fish and nobody would, so I threw it back in the water. And I was pretty sad. I don't know what that means. Not a bad dream, though, bro. <laughs> Oh my, oh my gosh! They don't go too far. No, they'll stay here for a little bit. Um, That's so good. Okay. When they do when they, when they lose, they're going to be hitting up the bank. That is so cool. Oh, the whole family. They are stealthy. Yeah, right here, just below the surface. Yeah. You have to lift your glasses, they're gone. Oh, his little nose is poking out. They're stealthy. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, hello. You know him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's that's Fred. <laughs> Fred. My best friend. <laughs> so oh they God. typically do not travel in in herds or in aggregate is what they're called. Mm. Uh, you can always count on mom and the calf being together for two years. Now, an alligator, if you stay 15, 20 feet away from an alligator, it's going to leave you alone. Yeah. Crocodiles, that's a whole different ballgame. Now, in the Everglades here, we have both crocodiles and, and, uh, and alligators. The crocodiles are salt water, so we see them out by the Gulf. Wow. Now, the crocodiles, that they're very aggressive. Pretty big. I like how they kind of look like they're smiling, like they've got these cheeky grins. In the uh, summer, I find them with their mouths open. Uh -huh. they're, uh, they're panting like a dog, they're regulating uh -huh. their heat. Jesse Lynn, what do you think of all this? I think it's really cool. <laughs> We saw manatees over in the little key and we saw a bunch of alligators and they jumped in and we saw an osprey with a fish. <laughs> so this is a little baby. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, so if you were to measure between his nose and its eyes, it's about two and a half to three inches. So that's a three foot alligator. Those are real. Anything with an alligator, we get real things. Wow. Wow, that is crazy. The eyes so are this marbles. would be three feet. Yeah. About out to there, maybe. Here. Wow, that's kind of long for a little guy. <laughs> there he is. He's literally right in front of us. Oh my gosh. Got a little bit of a scar, not too bad. Near that cloud. Oh yeah. So you'll think like a bad thing. That's crazy. That's so cool. I don't think you can get closer than that. No. That was super cool. Jesse? Yeah. You saw a baby manatee in a mama today. I did. That was really That's cute. That's a sign. <laughs> You're basically a you mama with a baby. baby manatee. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey Manny, that's Manny, kind of cute. Right. <laughs>
Eli Manning. Eli Manning. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Her child, Eli Manning. I think that's just a lot of pressure for a kid. <laughs> I'm so content. <laughs> my latest single this is kind of the first um, release of this new batch of songs I've been working on this year and I wrote this one a couple years ago um, my husband and I got married and we decided to take our little Chevy van and go on this month-long road trip honeymoon and um, we I saw the Grand Canyon for the first time and every national park in Utah it was amazing but one of the first places we stopped was this farm I grew up on outside of Springfield, Missouri. And to give you all a little bit of backstory, we had to move away when my dad got sick. He had cancer for a long time and he passed away when I was 12. But when we went back to this property and I walked up that gravel road, it was like walking into Narnia. And I could feel him next to me so strongly. Um, and, and some things had changed, but so much of it was exactly how I remembered it. And even though it wasn't mine anymore, it sure felt like it should be. And I know um, we all have life changes for different reasons, but probably most of our parents didn't stay in the same place forever. And there is a piece of property somewhere that holds our childhood memories that for some strange reason isn't really ours anymore. So this is my version of that story. I wrote this right after we left. I had all this emotion and I didn't really know what to do. And my new husband very wisely said, Jesse, I think you should write a song about it. You can't find it on a map. Way back in the woods It's everything I knew When I was just a girl A bedroom with no door And my own house in the trees Everywhere I You were there with me And I know I don't belong here anymore The kitchen's there Nothing on that hardwood floor says you love me carry it on the air when I come home well 20 years can change a lot a new place built next door but that tree house in the back it still has my name on And I know I don't belong here anymore The kitchen's bare, nothing on that hardwood floor Whisper says you love me Carry it on the air when I come home And nothing feels more like mine I've run these fields for my whole life Dirt roads stain my feet Oh, 
you don't hurt anymore that's worth the pain of moving forward and I know I don't belong here anymore the kitchen's bare nothing on that hardwood floor a million memories still hold you here a whisper says you love me carry it on And about this time last year, we did a little tour through Missouri, and we got to go back to that farm and film the music video there. So you see the tree house with my name on the wall, and the little loft bedroom with no door that I grew up in, and uh, it was just a really, really special experience. So uh, thank you. Thank you for letting me share my stories with you. Oh, was that fun? That was a great show. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I woke up for my nap in time. <laughs> <laughs> we had a fun time. It's perfect. So great. Pulling out of that KOA on the road in our Chevrolet. Turn right at the Texaco, then anywhere we wanna go. I know I'm gonna get there next.